Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for a very exciting Carnival Cruise Line webinar. My name is Anna. I'm an industry relations manager here at CLIA, and I'm going to just quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our presenter. The webinar will run about 40 minutes with time for questions at the end. Please feel free to type your questions into the questions module of the webinar, and we'll get to them at the conclusion of the presentation. This webinar is being recorded and will be posted on CLIA's YouTube channel, which is CLIA Global. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce our presenter, Alicia Stewart. Alicia joined Carnival over 20 years ago as business development manager for Central Texas. She quickly rose through the ranks to her current position of senior director of Carnival's independent agent team. In her position, she creates and develops sales and marketing initiatives with her partners, as well as training specific to independent agents. She has been in the cruise industry for over 25 years and began her career on board Princess Cruises. From there, she joined Century Travel in Austin, Texas, as the Director of Cruise Sales, which led her to her position at Carnival Cruise Line. And with that, take it away, Alicia. Thank you, Anna. Thank you so much. And I'm so glad to be with you guys today talking about something fun and exciting. <laughs> so we will go ahead and get started. So as you can see, we're going to be talking about our brand new ship coming out in February of 2021, the Mardi Gras. And with Okay, sorry guys, I muted myself. So, <laughs> we are really excited that she is, um, you know, as you can see her predecessor, the Mardi Gras, which was our first ship back in 1992, a little bit different in size and scale. So it's pretty fun to see the comparison. Um, basically you could fit about 12 of the original Mardi Gras on our new Mardi Gras, which is at over 180,000 tons. Not the largest ship in the world, but it is the largest uh, ship for Carnival. But what we're really excited about is so many of her features that I'm going to be sharing with you today. Um, and also the fact that she will be the first ship sailing in North America on liquefied natural gas. So much better for the environment, um, the environmental footprint. So, so with this ship, we've got a whole new look. And this is what I'm so excited about, um, the beautiful spaces that we're gonna be showcasing on this ship. So you can kind of see some here, um, but what's really cool about her size and scale is the fact that we are gonna have six distinct themed zones, um, starting with Grand Central, the French Quarter, La Piazza, Lido, Summer Landing, and the Ultimate Playground. So we're gonna take our time today to walk you through all these fabulous zones in which you're going to find different types of entertainment, different types of dining options, so many things to choose from. And then, of course, we get to showcase her staterooms, which are truly outstanding. So starting with Grand Central, if you think about a ship and as you're entering the ship, each ship has its kind of its own personality. And this is truly what you're going to find walking into this beautiful ship. And Grand Central is going to be the great hangout spot. We have different coffee bars. We'll have different entertainment and activities going on throughout the day. But as you can see, it has three story floor to ceiling windows um, to just really take in the views. And then at night, she transitions into a live entertainment spot with music and entertainers and again all kinds of different activities all throughout the day so quite the cool transition what you're also going to find in grand central is our main show lounge and of course each night we're going to have different production shows going on but one of the other things that we're introducing on the ship is family feud and we're so excited we just think it's going to be so much fun having our um guests compete against each other to win fabulous prizes being hosted by our cruise director. In Grand Central, you're also going to find the casino. So of course, similar to on many of our, or all of our ships, um, we're going to have the complete casino with everything you can imagine, whether it's slot machines, poker, blackjack, you name it. Uh, they'll have fun tournaments going on. Um, and right next to it, of course, the casino bar. As you walk down the hall, you're also going to find some other fun entertainment zones. So you've got the Piano Bar 88, which gets very lively into the evening. 
as well as our Punchline or Comedy Club. Now, this is going to be, um, again, we'll have different comedians each night, different shows going on, multiple shows throughout the evening. And the early shows are very family friendly. So definitely we encourage, you know, guests to bring their kiddos, have a lot of fun. And then later into the evening, it's just adults only due to content. And of course, no reservations necessary and no fee to get in. Now talking about dining options. So we also, in Grand Central, you're going to find some fun things like Gigi Asian Kitchen. And I love this restaurant. One of the cool things is that, um, you know, for uh, your customers, they can make reservations in advance before getting on board the ship for dinner or when they're on board. It's up to them. Um, at night, there's a $15 fee for a four-course meal, um, and it is outstanding. But during the day, we open it up um, for our guests to enjoy for lunch, and it's complimentary. And and they can get like a nice Asian salad and soup, as well as their custom stir fry bowl. So this is a nice way to get a sampling for those customers that may not want to pay the extra to do alternative dining. So at least they can go and sample and enjoy. But it is so much fun at night and such a, you know, a small cost for a delicious meal if they're just looking to do something different in a different atmosphere. We also have our bonsai sushi and teppanyaki. Um, this is no reservations necessary. It's basically pay a la carte. Um, fabulous sushi rolls and you know appetizers. It is outstanding. It is something that um, you again, it's just a nominal fee and less than what you would really pay at a sushi restaurant at home. Uh, the teppanyaki would require reservations. There's a very limited amount of space. It is a $35 per person cost. Excellent meal, and of course, the chefs are highly entertaining entertaining as well. Okay, so on to our next zone is French Quarter. And this is one of my personal favorites because I'm from New Orleans. And it truly is kind of a, a, a you know, a, a, a basically a dedication to New Orleans, if you will. There's going to be so much fabulous music and great bars and fabulous food, so many things to choose from. So this is going to be one of our jazz bars that is located in French Quarter, and it's called Brass Magnolia. Um, so lots of fun there. Uh, right down the hall, we also have the really fun Fortune Teller bar, brand new on our ships. And of course, it wouldn't be um, a, a testament to New Orleans without good old Emeril Lagasse. So we have partnered with Emeril to create his first ever restaurant on board our ship, Emeril Bistro 1396, for fabulous Cajun food. We also, um, next in this zone, have our very popular Alchemy Bar. And what I love about this, this picture, it really does give you a sense and a view. For any of you who have been on our ships, you know that we, um, the, the way we really keep the fun going on our ships is that we have a promenade front to back of the ship with so many choices of entertainment, dining, and things happening. On this ship, with her size and scale, you can see there's upstairs and downstairs to the promenade. So you literally have two decks of so many choices as you flow along the boulevard to choose from. And then this, again, is one of um, the highest rated bars at sea. Um, and it's so fun. It's just a mixology, and um, they do fabulous martini tastings. And... Um, um, really just make it a whole lot of fun. Great place to stop for a pre-dinner drink or a post-dinner drink. Uh, one of my other favorite restaurants that are going to be fine near here in the French Quarter is Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. And this is truly a five-star dining experience. Um, it is a $35 fee. It does require reservations and only open at night. Um, I recommend they make reservations before getting on board. And I say this because it does fill up. The meal is outstanding. You get a four-course meal, some of the best steaks I've ever had in my life. We have lobster and lobster bisque and just... To die for the the food is outstanding the service is outstanding the ambiance is outstanding great recommendation if they're celebrating you know maybe it's a honeymoon or a birthday or an anniversary um it is a lovely meal and the other two tips i'm going to give you one is if you have your customers make reservations on the first night we throw in a free bottle of wine which is a nice little um bonus and also recommend that they order a dessert called art at your table and our chef comes out and truly does this fabulous work of art with so many delicious um, desserts to go along with that. And it's something fun that you'll want to take pictures of and, and bring back home. It's pretty cool. All right. 
And of course, we have the Fahrenheit 555 bar. So, you know, great place to stop while you're waiting for your table. Come and have a drink. It's always lovely, some music going on. And again, it has that fun, just um, steakhouse feel to it. One of the other fun things that we have added is cooking classes. We've got the Carnival Kitchen um, on board the ship, and it's a wonderful way, you know, throughout the day we'll have different classes to join in on, learn, you know, whether it's Italian food or certain desserts and some of our specialty, uh, you know, uh, dishes on board our ships, but it's just a lot of fun. There is a nominal fee and it does fill up pretty quickly. So um, definitely a highlight on board. And then lastly, for the foodies, this is an outstanding um, dining experience called Chef's Table. So this is truly the height of fine dining. Um, Chef's Table, we offer uh, typically about two times on each cruise, sometimes three, but they're hosted by our executive chef who um, takes the guests, about anywhere around 14, 16 guests, to a behind-the-scenes galley tour, um, shows them how we prepare our warm chocolate melting cake, we um, do some appetizers, and then walk them over to their private dining space where they have the executive chef and sous chefs preparing their meal. It's a seven-course meal with wine pairings, free-flowing wine. They also get a picture, a cookbook. It's fantastic. Um, and it does range anywhere from about $90 to $110 a person. We do not make a dime on it because the value of what you're getting is outstanding. It's like Chilean sea bass and lobster and steaks and amazing appetizers. It's just beyond. But again, it is something you need to make reservations well in advance because it fills up so quickly. It's gotten to be such a hot thing. Um, but it, it truly is just a wonderful experience. Every time we cruise, I try to do it with my friends and family, and I've never had one person say it wasn't worth every penny. So um, definitely a highlight if you are a foodie. Okay, so moving to La Piazza. So as you can imagine by the name, this is going to be our Italian zone. And um, just think about, you know, the music and the sights and sounds and, of course, delicious food. And um, one of our favorites, the Pizzeria del Capitano, which is going to be served 24 hours a day in La Piazza. Something also to note is that um, you want to tell your customers to download our Hub app which is something they can do in advance. It's complimentary to download our app. But in doing that, when they're on board the ship, not only does it give them deck plans and tells them when things are open throughout the ship as far as dining, entertainment, you name it, it's a great way to navigate and plan some activities. Um, but you can also order a pizza for only $5 anywhere on the ship. So let's say you're craving pizza and you're back in your comfy stateroom watching a movie and you wanna stay in your robe and slippers, you can order it right to your room or even right to the casino if you're just winning and you can't step away. So <laughs> it's kind of a fun new feature. So make sure the Carnival Hub app is definitely something they want to download anytime they're going to be sailing with us. All right, the other fabulous restaurant here is Cucina del Capitano. This is a family style uh, Italian restaurant and similar to Gigi, we have it open at lunch, complimentary, no reservations necessary. Three course meal, we have salads, breadsticks, um, and then a cooked order pasta bowl. And then at night, some of the best Italian recipes you've ever had. Um, and it's $15 at night. And I would, again, recommend making reservations in advance. I'm a big believer in doing alternative dining on the first night of the ship. I know I mentioned that with the steakhouse. Sometimes we do that. Sometimes we do the Italian restaurant or Gigi. But what's so nice is when the customers come on board, your customers, our guests, get on board in the first night, it's always, you know, confusing where to go, where do they sit in the dining room, you know, they're all trying to navigate. So if they choose to do alternative dining that first night, it's such a nice, quiet, peaceful, relaxing beginning. They have this fabulous meal. And then I encourage them the next night, go to the dining room and take it all in and the entertainment and all of it. But um, it really is a nice way to start off the vacation. All right, and what's so nice on board this ship in Cucina, we not only have the indoor dining, but we have al fresco dining. So as you can imagine, when you are sailing in the Caribbean, this beautiful weather, they're really gonna be able to enjoy sitting outdoors and taking in the spectacular views while they have a fabulous meal. All right, our next zone is summer landing. And one thing I want you to take in with this picture, um, look up in all those balconies. We're gonna, I'll be showcasing 
this. They're, those are called our Excel suites, and um, we're going to be showing those off here momentarily. I just wanted you to check it out. But this is going to be at the back of our ship. As you can see, this is going to be one of several pools to choose from. So in this area, it's called the Tides Pool, and you're going to find, you know, it's going to be a lot more low key. It's going to be, you know, some music playing, but a great way to go back, read a book, relax. There's hot tubs, there's food, there's bar service, all kinds of things to enjoy, but it won't be the hub of, of activity and entertainment. So great spot to go and just relax and enjoy. Um, and here's a better view. So you can see it right here. So again, this is going to be one of several pool areas um, to choose from on board this beautiful ship. What's also nice right here in Summer Landing is one of our favorites, Guy's Pig and Anchor Smokehouse and Brew House. So wonderful dining experience, complimentary. It's barbecue done by Guy Fieri. It is outstanding. I highly recommend the trash can nachos, um, but so good um, throughout the day into the evening. And then, we, of course, it's connected to our brew house where we uh, brew our own beer on board and do tours and tastings. The other spot that you're going to find in this area is our Heroes Military Tribute Bar. Um, if you're not aware, we are huge supporters of Operation Homefront. And of course, we um, honor our military on each and every ship and sailing. We do special um, recognition parties for them, and it's so cool to attend. I highly, one, recommend if you have customers that are in the military or were in the military to go and enjoy, but even customers that don't, it's just a wonderful way to um, show tribute to them and to honor them. And we do some really special things, but you're going to find this on every single one of our ships that we do these parties. And then eventually we're going to be rolling out this Heroes Military Tribute Bar on our entire fleet of ships. It's something we're very proud of, as well as the fact that we sail more military than any cruise line and offer tremendous rates for active retiree and veterans um, in the military for U.S. and Canada. So make sure to check that out if you're checking pricing for someone that is, again, either military or um, retired. They um, just check the military box for um, eligibility and then those rates will pop up but they are tremendous rates for them okay the other fabulous dining spot is rudy's sea grill and this is really fun again another new um, celebrity chef that we've partnered with and he is known for food faces as you can look if you look at the plate you see this adorable food face and of course it looks so cute you got to take your pictures first but it is delicious so you're going to want to eat it so um, but this is another just fun, brand new um, choice in, of dining experience, and it is uh, a la carte as far as the cost. All right, so another one of our pools. This is going to be the Lido Beach Pool. So think about this as the hub of activity. We're going to have live music going on, entertainment going on throughout the day. Um, so much to choose from. Bar service, lots of bars and restaurants that surround it that I'm going to be showcasing here momentarily. And then at night it changes into transitions into our dive and movie theater so this is a wonderful place to go and enjoy for the whole family we will play family movies we'll have popcorn and snacks and drinks and everything outside and then of course on select nights of the ship is where we'll have our deck party as well all right so some of the things surrounding this this beautiful pool area one is our red frog tiki bar so really excited about this we do have the red frog bar on a lot of our ships it's got that caribbean theme to it and fun you know drinks like um daiquiris and such um but again with the size and scale of the ship we've made it two two stories high and created a tiki bar experience you also have the very popular guy's burger joint with guy fieri's burgers that are complimentary to our guests and on the opposing side of the pool area is the Blue Iguana Cantina, where you get fabulous tacos all throughout the day and into the evening. Complimentary, once again. Something new on board, uh, Street Eat. So this is going to be a fun little um, different type of grill. So each day it may change. It'll be different international delicacies. It may be Indian one day. It may be Greek food another. So this is a lot of fun. Um, along with another new partnership, and that's with Shaq, our ambassador of fun, um, for the big chicken. This, once again, will be complimentary to get that fabulous fried chicken sandwiches and french fries and coleslaw. Um, so we're really excited. And once again, right around that Lido area. And then, of course, it doesn't stop there. Then we have our full marketplace, Lido Dining. So this is where you're going to have all the choices. And um, so we'll have, you know, different, again, different menus 
throughout the day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's our casual dining experience. So for anybody that just doesn't feel like dressing up to go to the dining room, no worries. They can come here to our Lido Dining, have a different selection each day. We have fabulous salads and sandwiches and grills. Um, there's just so much to choose from. You could have a totally different meal each and every day. And then once again, we'll have the indoor and then um, dining with a view. So it is going to be really nice and spacious for our guests. And then at the front of the ship um, in this whole Lido area is Serenity. So this is going to be the adults only space. Um, fabulous little space to kind of get away from it all, right? So it's another pool area. We'll have pools, hot tubs, bar service, food service. We'll have day beds, uh, lounge chairs, just sitting chairs. They want to play cards. It really is a very um, wonderful space for adults only. There's no reservations necessary and there's no charge to get in. Now, at the back of the ship, we have the very exciting Ultimate Playground. So this is going to be pretty cool. So as you can imagine, um, this is where the young and the young at heart love to go and play. Um, we're going to have our full waterworks. We're going to have our pet putt or miniature golf. We have a jogging track, an outdoor gym. We have a rope course. We have so much to choose from. And then, of course, as you can see here, we have Bolt. This is our brand new roller coaster at sea um, that goes about 45 miles per hour. Um, there will be a small fee to ride the roller coaster. We don't know the cost yet. Um, but again, as you can imagine, pretty thrilling and exciting. And then also, of course, is our sports court as part of the ultimate playground where we'll have our basketball court, dodgeball. You can get a view of the ropes course here. So as you can imagine, so many different activities and all the rest are going to be complimentary for our guests to choose from. So lots and lots of um, ways that you can work off the delicious meals you're having uh, while they're sailing with us. All right, what's really great is we were very clever in putting our pre-teens and our teen clubs right next to the ultimate playground. Kind of makes sense, right? That's where they're going to want to spend their time. So they're up by the pools, they're up by the water park, they're up by Bolt, all of that. So we're going to have Circle C, and this is going to be for our tweens um, from 12 to 14, and a great space for them to hang out. We've got youth counselors that have different activities going on, and they can kind of come and go, and it makes it just a really nice place for them to meet up, meet new friends. And of course, complimentary. And then we've got Club 02, and that's going to be our teen club up in this area as well. And that's for our 15 to 17 year olds. And once again, we'll have our youth staff that's with them, um, entertaining them, having meetups, doing you know different parties. They're going to have so much fun. And that's the best thing about our ships is that we really are designed with that in mind of entertaining the kids so the parents can enjoy. The kids have fun doing their thing. And then, of course, they come together with so many family activities as well. All right, so I'm going to show off some comfy staterooms now. And what's really cool about the ship is the, the choices. We're going to have 28 different categories of staterooms and so many to choose from. I'm just going to showcase some here for you and some things that surround the different areas. First of all, again, a different look and feel. So starting just with the interior stateroom, very spacious, comfortable. Um, we're going to start off at around 190 square feet or 195, excuse me, square feet, um, minimal as the, and then going up, of course. Um, and then, of course, we have up to our ocean suites at 341 square feet with a beautiful um, look, a sitting space, as well as their own private balcony. And of course, we'll have ocean view and standard balconies as well. Up to our premium balcony suite. So these are all going to be in just our standard room types of kind of what you're looking at, because I'm going to get into some different communities within our ship as well. So this is going to be our premium balcony suite at 615 square feet. Once again, you can see a spacious living area. You've got your, your bed here. Uh, we will have rooms that will hold up to four and five, depending on the suite and room type. And of course, more uh, a private balcony with a larger um, area there as well. We also have what we call Cloud Nine. Now, Cloud Nine is our spa area. And what's really cool about our Cloud Nine staterooms 
are for guests that really love a spa experience, you want to look into these because Cloud9 gives them access to a private members only area of the spa. And I'm going to show you that momentarily. But even within the section of Cloud9, we offer interior ocean view balconies and suites. So I'm just kind of showcasing a couple here. So starting at these are about 220 square feet on up. And again, a little different look and feel. What's nice is they surround the Cloud9 Spa, so you can literally just have your, your robe and your slippers on and walk down the hall to your own private elevator that takes you to the spa area and the members only space. So this is gonna be one of the Cloud9 balconies. And of course, here's the entrance into the Cloud9 Spa. So once again, for anybody that's booked into Cloud9, they get complimentary access to the members only area. And of course, at Cloud9 Spa, you're also going to find this is all the treatment rooms, massage, aromatherapy, pedicures, manicures. We have a beauty salon, all of that, um, which of course, all guests can book in advance or on board the ship. But our Cloud9 guests do get first priority of booking appointments. Um, and then, of course, they have the access to the spa. Now, for those that are not booked in Cloud9, they can purchase a day pass when that is available. And they can go and enjoy some of the fabulous relaxation rooms and the loss of therapy pools just like this one. So we do these fabulous heated chairs that, I mean, just melt your muscles. It's just Oh, it's so divine. And again, we've got the loss of therapy pools, relaxation rooms. We also have um, steam rooms and aromatherapy and all of that as part of the Cloud9 Spa experience. Okay, a new, uh, sorry, another community on board is going to be our Family Harbor staterooms. Now, you can totally tell, different look and feel. It's going to have a very New England type of feel that holds up to five in a stateroom. Once again, in the Family Harbor, we'll have rooms anywhere from interior ocean view balconies to suites, lots to choose from. And what's really nice is they get access to this private Family Harbor lounge. And it's great with families with little kids. Highly recommend it because all throughout the day, we'll have uh, snacks going on. We have a coffee machine for the adults. We have ice cream 24 hours a day. We'll have little breakfast goodies. We'll have cookies and milk turn down service. We have games and movies. It really is a great space in Family Harbor. And then to be able to have access to this lounge. So you're not having to go all the way to the Lido deck to go and get, you know, just cookies and a chocolate milk for a little one. You know, that, that they can literally just go down the hall with their private access key and enjoy snacks all throughout the day. We also have a concierge that's there to help with any kind of family activities throughout the cruise and um, for them in set hours. So this is wonderful space, great for families with little kids. What's also nice is right next to the Family Harbor section is where we have Camp Ocean. And Camp Ocean is going to be our youth program for the little ones. So this is going to be anywhere from uh, ages 2 to 11. And of course, we divide them up by age groups. So we have 2 to 5, we have 6 to 8, and 9 to 11 with their own separate activity rooms, their own youth counselors, their own activities. What's wonderful um, for the parents, of course, you check them in and out each day, but um, before they go on the cruise, recommend they go ahead and fill out their paperwork and register their kids so they get that knocked out of the way. They're not spending time you know, on their vacation filling out paperwork. It's so much better to do it in advance. That way we also know kind of how many kids we're gonna have on any given cruise. Then when they get on board the ship on the first night, tell them to go by Camp Ocean and get the activity sheet and they'll have the list of all the activities going on throughout the cruise. And we operate from 9 a.m. till 10 p.m. at night complimentary for the guests. We will even take them to dinner. We'll take them to shows. We have wonderful activities going on all throughout the day. Um, we may do build a bear workshop. There's just so much fun to be had. And then we even do extended nighttime babysitting for a nominal fee and that'll go all the way from 10 at night till 3 a.m. We also will keep the kiddos um, on board in Camp Ocean if the parents want to go do a shore excursion and maybe their child's smaller it wouldn't be the right excursion for them we will keep them complimentary as well so so many options so much flexibility so many activities and they do an outstanding job. We also have Dr. Seuss Bookfield with our partnership with Dr. Seuss, um, which is pretty incredible. Um, we do so many fun things. We do Seuss and Palooza parades. We do character breakfast at our main dining room. But we also have this Dr. Seuss Bookville. And this is a great place to go. And again, have a little family time with a little one. Go and read a book and check it all out. But I also recommend make sure to tell um, your clients to, to definitely do um, our 
character breakfast. It's pretty cool. It's very nostalgic. Um, I believe the cost now is $8 um, for adults and maybe six for kids. But we have the characters roaming around. They take pictures and sign autograph books. And of course, we've got green eggs and ham and all that fun stuff that goes along with Dr. Seuss. And it really is whimsical and fun. Okay, the next area is our community is our Havana section. And this is going to be just one of the Havana, again, interior staterooms we offer once again in the Havana section, interior ocean view balconies and suites. And then just to give you, this is a um, one of the balcony rooms, the Havana Cabanas. And what I love about this, again, larger living space, will hold up to four. You also walk out to a deck that you open your gate and it takes you to your pool area, um, your private pool area, I should say. And um, totally different look and feel, as you can see, kind of has that Cuban vibe. Um, this is meant for adults or families with adult or older children, sorry, like 15 and up. So um, we do not allow families with little kids in this area because of the fact that they get that private pool concept and we wanna keep that a little bit quieter, more quaint and intimate so they can truly enjoy that experience. The other part of this is they're connected to the whole Havana section, and that includes this Havana bar, um, which of course at night is accessible to all guests on board the ship. But this is where we'll have the you know the band going, a little salsa happening, uh, dancing, great live music, and then Cuban food and drinks to go along with it. So it's a fabulous stop for all guests to enjoy, but it's very obviously accessible and a great place to hang out and get a Cuban coffee throughout the day for our guests that are booked in the Havana section. And then they also get private pool areas and hot tubs and bar service, food service, where it's all right there for them. So this is more of kind of that exclusive space that they get to go and enjoy by being booked in the Havana section. Okay, what's brand new on this ship is the introduction of our Excel Suites. Now, at the beginning, when I was showcasing this summer landing, um, you could see the very back of the ship with all those balconies and suites. Well, this is what we're talking about. So as you can see here, we're looking at private deck space that not only has a day bed, lounge chairs, sitting area, a dining table, even their own private hot tub. So pretty spectacular. So I want to show you some of the different Excel suites to choose from. We have lots to choose from. Captain Suite. This is going to be 710 square feet. And in all of these, you're going to have a bedroom as well as lots of living space, uh, walk-in closets, whirlpool tubs. And of course, on like we do on any of our ships, when you're booked in a suite, you get that faster the fun concept, meaning you don't wait in line. We have a VIP check-in, so they get expedited through that. Um, lots of additional perks and in terms of getting off the ship first into the different ports of call. They get first right on um, their dining times, all of that. So lots of perks in being booked in these suites. And of course, the fact that they're enjoying all the spaciousness that it comes with it. We have the uh, um, Excel corner suites, again, at 710 square feet. So you've got the room. This is gonna be that living area that connects to the bedroom. We also have the Excel aft suite. So this is going to be at 861 square feet. Um, so once again, you've got your bedroom and then it connects into your living area. And of course, we'll have sofa beds that do also make out to, to um, or makes out sofas that do make out to bedding to add for uh, up to four and five guests. And again, walk-in closets, whirlpool tubs, lots, lots to choose from. And of course, large deck space like you saw earlier. So again, you can imagine just having that access to just truly enjoy, have some room service, sit back, get a glass of wine, have your coffee in the morning, just taking in these beautiful views. Then we have our presidential suite at 1120 square feet. Once again, so you've got your bedroom here connected into living space and um, their own private deck space which once again, you're just taking in from a different view. So you've got your hot tub. This is your own private hot tub on you know, the top of the ship with these spectacular views. And of course, that big deck space to go and enjoy. And there's from the other side. I don't know about you guys, but I could surely see myself right there right now. <laughs> All right, and what's so nice with all the Excel suites, there's 32 of them, and they have access to what we call Loft 19. So this is their private deck space where they can take in, they can rent cabanas for the day if they wish. They have food service, bar service, and hot tubs. And again, it's just having that little private area for them to enjoy um, being booked in those Excel suites. 
All right, so we're very excited that her inaugural season is coming close, coming near. Um, and her itineraries will typically be the seven-day exotic Western Caribbean voyages that'll make stops into Cozumel, Costa Maya, and Mahogany Bay, which is in um, Isla Roatan, Honduras. And then our seven-day exotic Eastern Caribbean voyages will be stopping in San Juan, Amber Cove, which is our private island in the Domin Dominican Republic, and Grand Turk. And these are all going to operate out of Port Canaveral. Um, at our brand new ship terminal built specifically for the Mardi Gras. And we're happy to say sailings are now open all the way through April of 2023. All right, well, for that being said, a couple things I do wanna share for any of you that don't um, receive our newsletters. If you would like to be on our newsletters that go out, um, that also t send out about our upcoming training and webinars that we offer, um, please just simply email our CIA team at carnival.com. Um, we also are on Facebook. And one exciting thing just happened um, last Thursday. Uh, as you can see here, our Facebook page is just facebook.com backslash CIA team CCL. Um, but we just did, this is something I, I would highly invite you to do. On our page, we posted on Thursday, October 8th. You could go there, check it out, see our post of the Mardi Gras where we showcase all of these images. So we put up an album. Well, it got the attention of over 4 million people already. It's crazy. We had no idea. Our uh, Facebook page is dedicated to travel agents, but all of a sudden everybody got wind of it and it just blew up. My advice to you is share that. If you're interested in promoting this ship, we have never seen anything like it. People are so excited about the ship and the comments we kept getting were from consumers saying, how do I book? And so of course we keep telling, go see a travel agent. So if I were you, I would absolutely share that post and spread the word because I have a feeling you can turn that into some really good business for yourself. Um, and then lastly, just want to make mention, we have our YouTube channel, which is called the Carnival Independent Agent Team on YouTube. And that is where we house all of our recordings of our webinars, as well as our virtual ship tours. And so what's great is you can share any of those virtual ship tours um, from our YouTube channel with your customers. You can share them through social media, through email, you name it. It's just a click of the button and they can go and do a virtual tour or on any one of our ships. So just a great sales tool for you. And with that being said, I want to say thank you. Thank you for your time. And then I'll turn it back over to Anna to see if there was any questions. Thank you so much. We do have some questions coming in. I will start with one that several agents are asking. Is there an opportunity for agents to see the ship and get on board? Well, we absolutely have that intent. Um, obviously, in the in the times that we're in right now, everything's a little challenging. We're kind of awaiting um, all the guidance um, from the CDC of all the protocols and different things we will be doing. But you absolutely can imagine we are so excited to showcase the ship and to have our fabulous travel partners see her. So I would assume, yes, we will definitely be planning things. We're just not at that place yet. Um, but we will definitely be promoting that as soon as we can. Okay, fantastic. Our next question is from Debbie, who is wondering if the dining fees that you mentioned are per person or per table. The dining fees are per person. Got it. Our next question from Patricia, she is wondering if the military rate that you mentioned can be combined with group rates. The military rate, yes. So you would um, basically, when you go into groups, um, basically you have the option uh, when you choose to berth a cabin, you can either choose the group rate or you can choose different promotional rates. And right then is when you would choose the eligibility for military and that military rate would show up. So you have the choice. Anytime with groups, that's accessible to you guys to choose different rates. So let's say even if it's a past guest promotion or something of that nature, or again, military. That way you can choose the best one for them, but still keep them within the group. So that's a really nice uh, benefit. Okay, great. Our next question from Megan is, is there a minimum age for the roller coaster? 
Oh, shoot. You know what? I, I don't know the exact age. I believe it's going to be based on weight and height. Um, it, it's far, and we're still awaiting all the full details of that. But I know there are going to be certain restrictions on weight and height, uh, you know, starting out and limitations. So um, that we will definitely be sharing because I know, you know, again, like any roller coaster, I think you see that if you go to a theme park on land, same kind of thing. So definitely we'll have certain regulations on that. Okay, got it. That makes sense. Our next question from Suzanne. Does the Havana area have a pool or just hot tubs? It does. It has pool and hot tubs. Okay, fantastic. Michelle is wondering if the chef's table experience is wheelchair accessible. Oh, it should be. Yes. Yeah. Any of our dining and entertainment um, areas on the ship are wheelchair accessible. And in fact, we have more wheelchair accessible cabins on the ship than ever before. Um, I believe that we have, I want to say it's 86 or 88 um, that are ADD, uh, sorry, a, ADA compatible. So um, at any time you have guests that do have special needs of that nature, uh, make sure we have, a, it's called a guest access um, department that can assist. Okay, fantastic. Our next questions from Carol are, is the ship still sailing, um, planning to sail out on February 6th, and is there anything special planned for that date? Um, great question. Yes, our intent is to sail on February 6th. So everybody cross your fingers. We're crossing our fingers and toes that we get the, the green light and go ahead from the CDC. But yes, that is our intent. And I would imagine there'd be something special planned, but we don't know that yet. I think we're just, we're so excited just to sail. So, <laughs> I, but I foresee, yeah, it's a big celebration when it happens for sure. Okay. And I know we're all waiting for that. Our next question, it looks like our last question from John, and I know um, everybody's sort of wondering about this and it's all a little bit up in the air, but if you have any insight on COVID protocols, that would be great. Yeah, you know, we're, we're still obviously awaiting. Um, and just so you guys know, once we have the green light, the go ahead, from the CDC on approvals of what we've submitted. So all the cruise lines have worked really hard and are working close together to, um, to get it go going up and running again. Um, the good news is some of our sister companies like Costa and Aida um, over in Europe have been operating and doing fantastic. So it is going well. Um, and of course, some of our competitors too. So we're all taking notes of what's working, you know, different things that I think you can expect and that we did um, say to the CDC that we're willing to do. They, we would have 100% testing um, in boarding ships. Obviously, these are going to be kind of the quicker tests, but it's, you know, like our um, CEO says, he goes, there's not one place that you go to at home, whether it's a store, a restaurant, or any community that tests 100%. So we we truly are going to do the right thing. So that's part of the, the plan. Um, we, at, I would assume at the beginning, at kind of the first stages of this, until obviously we work through um, COVID and get past this pandemic, um, is that we won't be selling full capacity. So you might find, um, and you're trying to book this ship, there may be sailings that are completely sold out. It's because we can't sell completely full, anticipating that, of course, we're going to have to have our numbers reduced on the ship to um, be able to space out accordingly, um, whether it's in the dining rooms, entertainment venues, all of that. So we will, of course, go along with the guidance there. So I would expect that. I would expect wearing masks going from point A to point B on the ship and taking them off once seated. I think that's very similar to what most you know, most communities are doing now. Um, when you go to any public spaces, it's typical that everybody does wear a mask. And then once they're sat in a, you know, restaurant or wherever that may be, they can take it off, obviously, with their friends and family. So I, I would anticipate that. Um, I think the nice thing about the ship and the way we are set up on all of our ships is we do offer so many choices, as you could see, for dining. So you've got the main dining restaurant, you've got all this alternative dining, you've got casual dining. So you've got different, and even on the buffets, you know, where it may have been self-served before, um, obviously I would expect they're going to be served by the crew. That'll be in gloves and masks serving the food. So um, I would anticipate that. Um, I'm trying to think anything else at the top. Um, as far as in the different ports of call, what we're finding is right now, I know, um, in our sister companies and competitors, they are 
keeping the guests together, meaning offering different excursions, different tours, but keeping them together. And I, it makes sense because obviously when you're working with all the different ports and the governments of these different ports, they want to manage as well. And so you kind of have to have, keep, keep everybody kind of grouped together so that you know and you can track just in case if anybody does end up as a positive um, on the COVID test. We will also have a section of the ship if for some reason someone does test positive, if we needed to, to quarantine um, and have fully staff, you know, doctors and nurses um, handling on board the ship. So, yeah, I mean, you're going to expect a lot of differences, I will say, um, but we know and we've seen this with our sister companies, um, they're having a fantastic experience. They're still getting a full vacation experience. Like, for example, with the shows, maybe before it would have been two shows a night. Instead, we may offer four shows at different times so we can, again, make sure to allow people to space out, but everybody has the opportunity to go and enjoy the show. So yeah, there's going to be some differences, but I can tell you that um, we're looking at this, you know, especially at the startup being very realistic, um, being very cautious. And of course, first and foremost will be the safety of our guests and crew. Um, but we think we can do it and we think that we can provide a fantastic vacation experience. So I hope you guys feel the same way. I know we're really eager to get started, but we know we want to do it right. We want to do it the right way the first time um, and dealing with this interesting, challenging <laughs> situation that we're all in. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. And it looks like those are all of our questions. Thank you everyone so much for joining us. And the last thing that I will say Carnival has provided a virtual ship inspection of the Mardi Gras to CLIA, and that's available on um, cruising.org under your CLIA account. So I strongly encourage everyone to go in and take that. Um, it's just all of the same wonderful information that was presented today, and you get CLIA credit. So I strongly encourage that. And thank you, Alicia, so much for presenting. Oh, my pleasure, Anna, and thank you, everybody. And we, we are thinking of you, and we can't wait to be to be sailing again. So thanks so much. Bye, everyone. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.